blueprint for success in business. For many small businesses, this is one of the main reasons that they fail. Joining us now is author and coach Gail Doby to talk about how to set ourselves up for success in business. Good morning to you, Gail. Good morning, Thalia. Good to be here. Same. Great to have you. Tell us a little bit about the title of your book and what inspired you to write it. Well, that's a great question. Thank you. Business Breakthrough, Your Creative Value Blueprint to Get Paid What You're Worth. I think a lot of people do a lot of hard work and they don't necessarily get paid well for what they do. So that was really my driver to do that. And it was especially written for companies that may be just starting or emerging and they need the help to know exactly what to do to build a successful and profitable business. Wonderful. Let's start with the why. Why are people not being paid what they're worth? There are so many things that are a part of this. And one of those is mindset for sure. And if you look at the statistics from SBA and some of the other uh, companies that have done studies, things like a lack of a clear plan, insufficient funding, lack of sales, and maybe it's due to a belief that sales is an icky thing and it's something where they don't want to be seen as a salesperson. Um, and I think that's an issue. And then also a lack of understanding of what the numbers mean in their business and their financial statements. Yeah, there's a lot that goes into it and it can be overwhelming. What can people do about it to try and understand how to operate their business successfully? Well, I think there are a lot of things that they can do. And first of all is to get the education that they need. So if they don't have a skill set or a knowledge base, then get themselves into a program maybe some coaching or mentoring, possibly a mastermind group. But certainly, if they can't afford that yet, to get some books, read those books, and start applying things step by step, because that's the real key for most people is to just get the knowledge that they don't have. And once they have it, it won't go away. Right. Get the knowledge and then the application part. What is one of the best ways to market yourself? I know a lot of people turn to the, the Internet. What do you think? Well, I think there are a lot of great things, but I think that it's so easy. There are so many things that people go out and do. They think social media is the answer, but the real answer for most small businesses is to market to your current and past clients. And then also build up expectations with your clients that referrals are how you build your business. And that will help quite a bit. But I think I have one little tidbit that I think is so important for people to know, and that is to market when you are the busiest because you're filling your fu future pipeline. So it's always important to always be marketing. Well, sounds like you could really help people. How can people get your book if they're interested? Well, thank you for asking. Um, they can go to gaildoby.com and it's business dash breakthrough and they can get a copy of the book for just shipping or they can get a couple of free chapters if chapters all right gail doby thank you so much for your insight this morning we all learned a lot thank you so much Thalia. and we'll be right back